Once again, it's the Illus Podcast. I'm your host, Pierre Sledge, and we got a great show for you today. Right now, I'm going to talk about LeBron James's recent hot take on his new podcast with JJ Reddick. Here we go. So, apparently, the internet is up in arms about LeBron's hot take, and this was regarding. He said something about. Or maybe he didn't say something about Michael Jordan that got people upset. And so I don't know if he was thrown this question from J.J. Reddick or he just was speaking on it. But what he said was that the, the, the players that have been the most iconic to him in the, the times that he, he's been watching, which has been about for the last 30 years, has been Steph Curry and Allen Iverson. And I would tend to agree, which is kind of crazy but i do i believe he he gave a justification for each as well steph curry for the shooting obviously for the three-point barrage that we now see the uh uh not the the proliferation of it i would say it's it's definitely more prolific than ever and the emergence of it as being a staple it's it's the I don't know. It's kind of the base now for bas- for basketball. He also mentioned Allen Iverson, and Allen Iverson was more for his style, his iconic style that he brought, as opposed to what he did on the court, because everybody copies Steph Curry. They're kind of doing their impression of him. I don't think most people were doing the impression of Allen Iverson. He, he was one of those dudes that you just really couldn't copy. Uh, yeah, but Allen Iverson's, uh, his style is still felt today. It's, it's still seen. Everybody still wears the armbands and sleeves and headbands. It's, it's, uh, it is mostly an Allen Iverson thing. And I would agree now what people were angry about was that he didn't mention Michael Jordan and I would defend him here. And I would say, yes, he did. He just didn't do it in the way they wanted him to. So what he said was, was these, uh, these things about Allen Iverson and Steph Curry. But he prefaced it by saying, look, we obviously know what Mike did and, and all that. And to me, that's enough of an acknowledgement. That is, that is like him saying to me, Michael Jordan is in a, a class of his own. And he's like an umbrella above the rest of us. It, it It's almost like he's setting Michael Jordan's impact aside. And I, I didn't have any problem with that. He, that. That was enough. I don't know why he had to go on and on and on about Michael Jordan. He mentioned him. So it, it, wasn't, it wasn't exactly what I thought because initially I didn't see this interview. And I saw a clip of it recently and I was like, oh. You know, I'm glad I didn't react to this because it would have been it would have been disingenuous or or really misguided because I didn't actually see the clip. But I can't I can't rock with this. I mean, I think they get as much as I can't. I I can't and don't agree with LeBron James about a lot of things today. This this is tame. This is nothing. And we got to stop being ultra critical of, of everything that he does and i think you have to also just because you might not agree with someone most of the time or you might not even like them you still got to listen to them if you're going to discount everything they say you got to listen and i think if people were really listening they wouldn't have they wouldn't have been up in arms and i i think a lot of people saw the title and maybe heard that one part and they just went crazy so you know i'm not here to I'm not here to destroy LeBron James because he's LeBron James. I agree with him when I agree with him, and I disagree him, with him vehemently when I don't dis- disagree with him. When I do disagree with him, sorry. So that's my take. Uh, and again, this was this was lame, and these these dudes need to stop doing that. They are there are some real haters uh, for LeBron James. I'm not one of them. I'm a person who thinks is objectively. And responds as objectively as possible about him. Other people, they just hate him and they don't give him a shot. What say you? Like, subscribe, like, subscribe, and comment. 
in the comment section. Don't text me. I got to post my Patreon so you can, you know, support if you like. I'll see you in the next one. And that's my show. Peace.